In this video, I'm going to explain anatomy of deltoid. Deltoid is very big muscle on shoulder joint. This is deltoid. I'm going to explain its origin, insertion, function, and innovation. Okay? This is deltoid. Actually, deltoid has three parts. Anterior part, middle part, and posterior part. You do not see posterior part from this picture, so I will show you from different picture later on. At first part, I'm going to explain general function of deltoid. General function of deltoid is abduction, abduction of shoulder. Okay, this is general function. Why am I talking about general function first? Because each fiber has different function, but all three fibers do abduction. So I just wanted to explain you abduction first. Okay, for next part, I'm going to explain its origin and insertion. This is profile view of deltoid. This is origin. Origin of anterior fiber is clavicle and acromion. Clavicle and acromion. Acromion is big bony bump on lateral part of shoulder. Okay, anterior fiber, clavicle and acromion. Let's look at middle fiber. Middle fiber also attaches on acromion. Okay, simple. Posterior fiber, it attaches on acromion, partially. And it attaches on spine of scapula. Spine of scapula. Its origin is very, very wide. Clavicle, acromion, and spine of scapula. Insertion is very, very narrow. It's very pointy. This part is deltoid tuberosity. Deltoid tuberosity. Again, its origin is very wide. However, insertion is very, very narrow. This is origin and insertion of deltoid. In next part, I'm going to explain its function. Okay, how many fibers are there in deltoid? There are three parts. Anterior fiber, middle fiber, and posterior fiber. What is function of anterior fiber? Oh, by the way, all three fibers do abduction, just as I said, okay? What is specific function of anterior part? When this part contracts, that brings humerus this direction. What kind of movement is that? That is shoulder flexion. Same time, it has something to do with kind of this movement, rotational movement. What is it? That is internal rotation. Internal rotation. Flexion and internal rotation is kind of movement that brings shoulder towards anterior direction, correct? Flexion and internal rotation. They bring shoulder kind of anterior direction, right? Anterior fiber brings shoulder anteriorly. Very simple. Next, I'm going to explain middle fiber. This is middle fiber. Actually, middle fiber doesn't have specific movement. The one function is, do you remember? Abduction. Abduction. Because middle fiber is literally on middle part, it doesn't have uh, much thing to do for flexion or other movement. There's exception, of course, if uh, shoulder position is internally rotated or externally rotated. Maybe 
Middle fiber can do something flexion or extension, internal rotation, but in general position, function of middle fiber is abduction. Simple enough. Next one. Next one is posterior fiber. This is completely opposite from anterior fiber. What were functions of anterior fiber? Flexion and internal rotation. When posterior fiber contracts, that brings shoulder this way. What are they? They are extension plus external rotation. External rotation. Extension and external rotation bring shoulder this way. Posterior fiber brings shoulder posteriorly. Very simple, right? So anterior fiber, flexion and internal rotation. Middle fiber, abduction. Posterior fiber, extension and external rotation. And what is innovation of deltoid? That is axillary nerve. This nerve is very, very unique. It innovates shoulder joint. This nerve is very interesting. Very, very important for shoulder joint. For next part, I'm going to explain relationship with other muscles. This is first picture. I would like to talk about relationship with deltoid and pectoris major, pec major. You know, there is no obvious separation between these two muscles. Well, it looks like there's separation in this picture, but vein runs in between these two muscles, so there's no obvious separation. So you can say pec major and deltoid are kind of one continuous structure. That means when pec major is tight, this tightness can affect deltoid as well. If deltoid is tight, that can affect pec major as well. This is my personal experience when I do myofascial release around this area that tends to get good result for flexibility of pec major and deltoid. So this is good place to do hands-on work or it may be good for stretching this area. So in this video I explained basic anatomy, function, innovation and fascial connection of deltoid. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.